painting actually is what I love the most. Literally paint on canvas or paint on wood or paint on anything is, is what gives me the most pleasure in my downtime. It's great just to go into an art gallery, just ignore everything and go to one painting and just spend five or ten minutes with that painting. Unfortunately, I always like to look at paintings really close. The guards always get rather nervous when I'm in a gallery. I want to experience the painting as the painter did. And the, when you get into that world, you know, they're basically sort of this far away. You need to be that far away because that's where the painter was. And now I'm in his or her space and I'm experiencing it the way they did. And I love that. I, I always feel I can feel the painter, feel the struggles and the thought or the anger or the joy or whatever it is. You know, my dad very much wanted to be a painter. He was actually a cab driver. He loved painting, and I actually I own a couple of his paintings. They're not very good. They're sort of, you know, copies of, of uh, French Impressionist style. But, um, but he loved painting, and I think I inherited that to a certain extent from him. And my um, entertainment as a young girl was never to go to pop concerts or that sort of thing. I used to love to go to the local art gallery and just walk around. Brilliantly, you put me in front of <laughs> my favourite artist, Kandinsky, and there are, there are my, my, my lovely friends. You know, it's not often that you'll see four magnificent Kandinsky's like that in a row in a museum, but that's an amazing thing to see. There's a sense of chaos and randomness and, 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 and like the universe, you know, it's random, but it's organized in this incredible contradiction. And when I first saw Kandinsky, I assumed that it was just improvisational. It was just instinctive and improvisational and wild and, and, and of the moment. I loved it for that reason. And it wasn't until I went to see a retrospective of Kandinsky's that, that I learned that actually his work is incredibly worked out and uh, not controlled, but um, you know, it's far from an improvisation. It, it's a very thought about constructed image. You know, that, that's the connection with my art, is, is you have, to, it's very technical, you know, whether it's on the stage or in film, it's highly technical, but, with it, but, when the, but within this, this extreme form, technical form, you have to give an impression of improvisation and of, and of naturalness and, and of it being invented there and then in the moment. And to me that was perfectly what Kandinsky represents as an artist. There is the process that Francis Bacon describes so well of learning what he calls the good accident. And, and that's very much a part of what I do, is, is learning the good accident in acting. As an actor, you, you know, I, I'm always very jealous of, of painters and indeed of, of um, singers, because a song can travel straight into the heart the way a painting can. What I do has to be processed through the brain. People have to follow the story, it has to make sense. A song, just a note of a song can make, you know, make you feel something. I think likewise a painting can do the same thing. I love MoMA because it's elegant, it's beautiful, it's um, both classical and cutting edge. It's great to see it full of people and kids and, you know, just enjoying this incredible collection of modern art.